Hey guys, Admin here with a review it up video for you. Um, but in this review video, I'm honestly going to be talking about my experience at the Rainbow High slash Shadow High pop-up shop. If you haven't already, I've done a personally me video of me talking about what dolls am I going to be taking to the shop and as well what outfit would I be taking. So go ahead and check that out. Now, uh, we're going to start. I was vlogging trying to like record my morning of, but because of, you know, with family things going on, I was a bit busy. I was running late to the shop, um, especially with parking because in LA it's metered and you only get two hours. So yeah, I parked a bit far. I think I parked like two blocks away from it. So it was quite a walk and my parking meter screen was just not it so i couldn't even tell exactly what time i'm supposed to be back i just kept pressing more time that way i get the maximum of limit of two hours so walking in to the pop-up you go in and they give you a bracelet which is just like the paper bracelets here that i still have with me this is the general admission badge bracelet that they give you then walking in you see a white desk that um, someone would be there and then they would ask you are your team shadow high or team rainbow high and then you say your team and then they tell you to walk in this direction which i don't see the point since it's literally leading up to the lockers the rainbow lockers so there's two sides of the lockers where there's a couple of them that are open and then are decorated inside based off the character there was a violet willow locker there was a jade hunter locker and a couple others that had a fully decorated locker to dedicate their character personality. I think these honestly were really cute. Um, I don't see them being functional, which obviously isn't really the point just because of um, duh. And then secondly, I think, no, yeah, I think they were really cute. Just seeing them again in imaging. Uh, my favorite one, I think, they did really well was Jade and Violet, like I said. Those are the, I still remember top of my head. Especially with Violet Willow's ring light. And as well with Jade Hunter, her makeup brushes and her makeup palette in her, in her locker is just beyond cute. And obviously the picture of her and Bella. Around the pop-up, there's a couple of spots where you can take pictures. Like this famous box, life-size box, where you can step in the middle and be a rainbow high doll or a shadow high doll. Obviously, I take a photo of myself being a Shadow High doll since duh, I am Team Shadow High, so it just made the most sense. I didn't even think about taking a picture in the Rainbow High box just because I'm. Um, yeah. There was one of rainbow lights going all around, uh, well, the front of it, and then there was one of a circle. I believe this is like the profile of Instagram. Just because it, that's the first thing that reminds me of, but I didn't really say what it was. I mean, none of them really do. But that was my guess in terms of their interpretation of what this photo op would be. A couple others I didn't take pictures of, of like Shadow High themed with the whole um, dark lights and as well one with ring lights or at least ring lights that were just nailed to the wall. Um, that I didn't really take a good picture of. Um, honestly, I don't believe I did. But you can also do a photo op of a mirrored Shadow High logo in a circle there was a interaction inter what is the, the thing called where you play with the screen you can take a photo of yourself and then just um, edit it out to do your own picture the side you can make your own tote which is just black and white totes like a, a back black bag and with white lettering so rainbow high shadow high um phrases like that my favorite one out of the photos honestly would have to be the rainbow high with the main six girls um here's my photo i honest to god never loved the photo of myself before as much as i do this one um i love my smile i don't think i've ever smiled as much in photographs um i was just happy to be there in general just to see it all in life and to be able to take photos and thankfully i was waiting in line with people that were able to take my photos and i took their photos boomerang videos all that and um just so thank you to, to you guys guys i don't remember names um but you are cool 
love the vibe, um, great talk, conversations, but completely forgot the names. And I took a couple other photos with like Jade and Bella and Jade's locker. I had to take this picture of Jade and her cutout of herself. I thought that was really cool. Well, even the outside of the store, I mean, this main one that we all know, the shadow high graffiti on the rainbow high picture is really cute. I love the let your true color shine, where it's rainbow into black and white. I thought that was really cool as well. There was even a couple things you were able to do. Um, I didn't take much pictures of those. One was what I said, where you take a picture of yourself and then edit it, where you can add like stickers, um, you can graffiti your name or writing on it. Another one whereas you can make a school ID, which is Rainbow High or a Shadow High ID. Another one where is you leave your mark on the wall with um, glow in the dark markers. Another one, like I said before, is to make your own tote. This one was the entrance that I was talk talking to you guys. Just looking at other images. So this image is what I took from the very beginning where, I, like I said before, they ask you, are you team Rainbow High or Shadow High? And then you just go to your section, which literally just leads to the lockers, um, leads to the entrance, which is just doesn't make any sense if you're not separating them. So there, yeah, but I had to take a picture of this Rainbow High logo with Jade and Bella since hello, Jaa. Um, it just makes sense for me to just take this picture and I just love it. It's funny that I also took Luna, I mean, I took a picture of Luna and Sunny together outside with the whole rainbow eye, with the shadow high graffiti on the wall. And, but I also took Natasha and I also took Chanel and yet I haven't done any photos with them. And that's pretty funny that I didn't do anything with them. I did take them out a couple times to show people in the line uh, what I do have and what I brought. Um, I saw a lot of people also bring dolls and I thought that was really cool. And then last one, um, I saw Crystal Conminko, if I'm pronouncing that right, from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on Bravo. Um, I love this show. <laughs> um, I love anything Real Housewives and when I saw her I was just like, ooh, I have to get a selfie there to take pictures in the photo ops. And as well, I think she was with her daughter and a friend and that friend's kid. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, the infamous rainbow wall of dolls. Now, this one I loved, but I was very confused and pissed because they literally forgot one doll. And I don't understand why they forgot her. Kaya Hart, not Kia, Kaya. I don't even understand how they were able to forget her. It, they were even selling her at the um, retail side of the pop-up. Like, I don't understand. I believe they were selling her because I even saw her in a couple in packaging. So yeah, they were selling her. So that got me mad. And I, that's why I brought her with me. So then I could do this video here to go ahead and put her in line because that's where she belongs. I think she's obviously pink. So I put her next to Bella and that was that. So now to the retail side. Um, this part, I actually didn't take any pictures except for that, um, the wall of dolls. That's where that is placed at the pop-up. It's placed next to where you can buy merchandise and dolls. So here's the thing. I have a ticket that it says time the entry of 1 p.m. right and I knew that people were coming in I believe at 1 11 a.m. if not 12 and I'm like okay so I, I came I was there exactly at 1 got in and I see this literally gigantic line um, literally at the start of the pop-up and I was told that's a retail line if not you can go around and take pictures and just walk around and sit and chill or whatever so that's what I did first, and then I went back in line. The line didn't even move after I was just looking, walking around. While I was waiting in line, I was as well taking photos because the line was literally in front of the photo ops that you can do. So me and the people that were waiting in line next to me, we were just taking each other's photos at the time to pass the time because that line took forever. About, I came in at one, around 1.30 p.m. And we were told by um, someone that works uh, at the pop-up 
that they are sold out of the Ainsley doll and the twins. And that's where I wanted to go berserk because I was mainly there for them. Um, that's the whole reason why I wanted to go because I mean it would make sense for them to sell them. Um, um, yeah, like I, I was flabbergasted. I, no, you know what? Fuck that. I was, I was completely pissed the hell off. Like, how are you not gonna have enough dolls for everybody? Like, what was going on? And then I went to social media. I went into Facebook and on Instagram, and I read comments saying that people were just buying as much dolls as they can. They weren't really limiting on them. And I'm like, well, that makes the most sense. Like, I don't understand how they're sold out. Now, I know the day before, the Saturday before that, they had influencers go in there and experience the pop-up. And, you know, they have dolls. I'm not sure if they bought them or MGA gave them free dolls. I'm not sure how it was. But if that were the case, they should have separated dolls for influencers for that time for Saturday and then have dolls to purchase. And then even to purchase, why wasn't there a limited per person? Like two per person? Like I didn't understand that. Like how could you not know? Literally we're all there to buy dolls. Like you, the line, I think I took like one or two videos of the line. The line was massive. And literally at the start, that's where the line was started. And I'm like, wow, I stood there for quite some time. I think, at, yeah, 1.30 or 1.45, like around that time period, um, that's when they told us. And I'm like, wow. Wow. I, yeah, I was so pissed off. I was very fucking annoyed at that, like, okay. And then after that, I was like, okay, let me just sit on the couch and just vibe, right? I was there for a while. I was just texting my partner. I was thinking like, what should I do? And I'm like, okay, um, I'm not sure they had actual food there. I believe they had a cart where they had popsicles or something, and but I didn't want one at the time. But they did have water. So I left with a Rainbow High Shadow High water bottle that I have here as a little review since that's the one thing I was able to take with me. I could have taken a tote, right? But um, there was even a line to make your tote because they would tell you what type of phrase you, you want on it and then they'll literally put it on the tote bag at the time. They didn't have any set plan like you know ready and yet we have to wait there and see them make it for us i'm like wow not even a tote bag but the water i will say this rainbow high versus shadow high that's where it says right there it says versus right in the middle shadow high water it's it's refreshing this is room temperature a bit on the side of coldness um i it wasn't in fridges it was just there on shelves and i think it's just mm. this is purified water it's not spring water because i'm not into spring water but this. um so this was refreshing and there was that 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 yeah, I I don't know what what more to say about this. I guess let's just get to the overall review part of it, right? Right, because I'm not sure if they're gonna be doing this pop up at more locations. Um, because this is the first one in Los Angeles. I'm not sure they're gonna be doing one in New York City, in Miami, or I'm not like. But a review if you are gonna go to a future one. So. My thing is, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5 stars and a don't recommend going. Now, the 2 stars that I give it instead of the 5, the 2 were because 1, people. 
the people that were there, I think they were all very cool, they were friendly. I mean, I wasn't expecting like assholes or whatever, but you would think, you know, that maybe that, I don't know, I was, I guess this is, my, this is honestly my first pop-up event thing that was with dolls, that it is the main focus is dolls. And I was just thinking there's gonna be like a bunch of kids, that are just gonna be like parents judging me and all, but no. I honest to God, I think I've only seen like 10 kids there. Like there wasn't a lot, which I would have expected just cause duh, this is a children's brand. Uh, but there wasn't a, a lot. So I was even myself surprised. Like everybody there was either like 18 and over. Like a lot of them were even like in their mid twenties, early twenties. So I'm like, okay, cool. We're all, in the, we're all in the same mindset. We're all in the same age group. I'm like, I'm vibing with this. That's mainly who I was talking to, people um, close to my age. So I'm like, cool. Cool. And then secondly was um, the photo ops. I did like that. I liked how um, the rainbow lights, like I said, um, was my favorite. And then my main, main favorite photo was the one of the main six girls. Um, I thought that was cool. That was in the middle of the lockers. Behind that picture was the white desk where someone would ask you, are you Team Rainbow High or Team Shadow High? So there's that um, picture for you. Now, why isn't it five stars? Because there's, there's three missing. Um, one was the decor. I felt like they were missed opportunities that they could have done with like doll packaging. Um, I see a lot of people on, on social media frame the pictures of the back of packaging where we see the images of the dolls, of the characters. They could have done something with that. They could have like stacked box and boxed dolls and done some type of display or something. Or even just plaster the walls with the rainbow high graffiti or something like that. Like I wanted it to be more of a rainbow effect instead of using rainbow lights. Like really? The archway was a bit let down. I remember seeing that on someone's Instagram stories and yet thinking it was going to be like the Kim Kardashian hallway, but it just wasn't even close. It was literally like, what, five inches of a hall of a path and that was mainly it. That was the path where it was going from Rainbow High to Shadow High. And, um, n n cute, but no. It felt like because of the whole lines, I'm not sure people that wanted to just take photos already could even do it because there was people blocking certain photo ops that you can do. So I thought that like the lineage, the lines should have been handled better and the photo ops should have been like separate. Like it was just, uh, it was just in the way. Second for me was the characters. Like in terms of like freaking Kaya Hart wasn't even displayed. And they didn't even have like series three dolls to buy. I mean, I wasn't even gonna buy that myself, but at least have that since they're still at Target. Target and Walmart. Walmart, I would've liked that. They had like the cars, well the one car, they had the closet, they had the journal, literally left. And I'm like, wow, who in the hell wants that? That, well obviously not me, but I'm just saying. Thing. And they had a couple of Shadow High dolls left, and I'm like, well, everybody mainly has that. Like, I even brought three with me. So, what? Like, the merch. Okay, the merch mainly thing in terms of the shopping, right? Um, the merch was literally t-shirts with the logo gold rainbow high, like, like that. And, again, Shadow High. The Shadow High t-shirts were either black, white, or shades of gray. Whereas the Rainbow High shirts were like red, yellow, blue, green, like so on. Like, really, not even hoodies. It was just plain like collared like, t-shirts. It was just that. I was even pissed off at that. Like I was thinking hoodies, I was thinking cool designs. Maybe we'll wear something like Kaya jacket. Like I thought they were gonna make stuff like life size for us to wear. And yet that didn't even go. Like. When you said you were gonna sell merch, I was thinking all the details because that's how Rainbow High is, but um, I guess not to like people, people. I think my expectations were just so high that I'm just thinking this way, so I apologize, but I was just, I don't know, I was just thinking the most. 
the most. And then lastly was the whole buying of dolls. Like I don't understand why the rules weren't in place. I was told by um, someone in line that they saw people buying literally like five or six sets of twins and they weren't limiting people how much they can buy a, of a doll. Like someone bought um, five Ainsley dolls and like that was perfectly normal. Like you don't see other people in line literally wanting that doll. doll. You say on your posters or on your, on your info of the event that they're gonna have exclusive dolls, which they technically are since they're not out yet and Target locations or Walmart or anywhere like that. So yes, they are exclusive, and yet you're literally having anybody buy literally in bulk <laughs> of them that nobody else in line could get, which that's what we're here for, and that's why we're waiting in line for. Like, okay. Hey, that should have just been handled completely different. Like, I don't understand how that, how that team who set up the shop, um, even overall pop-up, did it that way like i'm very confused they need to really work on that if they really do want to do another pop-up is to limit dolls like i just wanted one of ainsley and one of the twins and that's it and call it a day i don't think i was even going to buy any dolls from series four i was going to just wait until they came out to target or to walmart like i was fine i just wanted the twins and ainsley and yet i left with a refreshing water bottle and I'm gonna say that because it really is, you know, it's good water. <sighs> and I left with this. I'm still gonna keep this. I'm just gonna put this in my folder or something and just keep this as memory. Right, right. And then the final note was that there was a time frame and my time frame was to leave at I believe before three before three yes I left there around 250 and we were based I left there like around 250 245 and me and people in line to wait to get an ID because that was the last thing I wanted to do at least is at least get a school ID uh, we were told by someone that works at the pop-up that we had to basically leave like really you can't just hold off a couple minutes we just wanted an ID it was me and like five other people in line waiting. Like at least give us that and yet we left with nothing and that, well not the other people in line. I'm, I know they had stuff from the shop, but no. So not even that, we were just basically rushed there out of there, which I heard, I have heard on social media, other comments like that, that other people that were at the event were basically rushed to get out. One thing I will say though from the pop-up that people were asking about is there were mystery boxes that were still being sold for $50. I have seen people in line um, behind me to get the ID that actually bought it. They said they, and I even seen that, um, inside the box was the car, was Jet Dawson, uh, people, some people got Lily Chang. She was also available to buy. Some people got Kaya Hart and the journal and I believe that's it that's what I've seen from other people's boxes now not all of that is gonna be in one box but I have seen some people get those in specifics like nobody got like an Ainsley doll in the mystery box and I spoken to I think like six or seven people with the mystery boxes I was even I was curious like what's in there and yet yeah it was just mainly those um, type of products in it. Um, it says it was re um, like it was valued at 150, but you can buy it for 50 bucks, which I think is a pretty good price for those items. But I just don't want any of that. Like I didn't want the journal, I didn't want the car. Um, I already have a Kaya and a Lily, so why would I want to get another dolls of them? So I was fine with that. Now in terms of recommending to go, because that's my own experience. I'm not gonna debunk someone else said they had the awesome time, they actually bought the dolls that they wanted, so on and so forth. I mean, they were even sold out as well with Series 4, I believe around like 2 o'clock. I was still in line at that time because I'm like, maybe Series 4 dolls, I'll just get them instead. 
and yet I was told that they were sold out. I'm like, wow. Okay. Now I, at that time, I just left and just, you know, walked around, sat on a couch and just like chilled. So I'm like, I'm gonna get my general admissions ticket worth for something, right? Now I would recommend to do it at a general admission. Because even for people that got, like, I don't, I haven't spoken to anyone that um, got the actual VIP, like the top ticket that I think it was like 75 or 85 or whatever. And I don't know if they left with stuff. I mean, they did get two shirts. I mean, that's what it says on the ticket um, website. That that's what they would get. But I mean, what if they weren't any dolls to buy? Like they were gonna save like 25% off. And then the premium ticket, like the middle ticket, they would save like 10% off or something. What if there were nothing to buy? Like they spent more for what? The photographs? Like I'm a little bit like, well, even for those people that got that certain ticket, they should have counted who got that and saved them a dollar or two of like Ansley and the twins. Like really? And my, I, I even wanted to get like the top um, ticket, which was I think VIP. I forgot what it was called. Like the actual top ticket. I wanted to get that to save a discount on the dolls. And I didn't even leave with anything. Imagine I got that. Girl, I would be pissed and like asking for the manager at that point. Like. It's a no for me. I mean, and even I've been to a couple of the pop-ups here in LA, um, warehouse sales, um, pop-ups, um, sample sales, and yet I there was more of organization there. And yet for this one day event, well, they basically two days, but for one day event for like the public, um, you had this major flaw in your system of, you know, the retail and the merchandise section which is the main thing why a lot of people are there. So I was just beyond pissed off at that. But that was my experience, which is why I'm giving it two out of five stars. And I mainly don't recommend, but if you really do wanna go, um, I would give this um, general admission, do that and take as many photos as you want and just be yourself. I'm very surprised a lot of people even dressed up as characters and even dressed up as like the theme of like full on colors and I dressed in all black because I was representing Shadow High. So even people like that were dressing up in black and white clothing. So, well not dressing up, but you know what I mean, like an ensemble and a fashion. Um, even I was surprised at that, I'm like wow, like it was, it was great. It was cool. I love the people that were there, they were really cool, everybody was chill. Uh, like me expecting drama, right? But I was just, it was my first time going to a doll pop-up. Like I didn't even know what to expect. Um, but I had a good time, not a great time, not a perfect time. My expectations were just turned to shit. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if this review is helpful or anything, um, but that was my overall, overall experience with it. I hope that if this were to happen again, um, they do better, especially with the retail part of it. And that other people that were go that would go to that um, have a better time than I did. Because honestly, um, my experience was just okay. It was cool. It was all right. Like, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you go to this event? Um, would you ever go to one in the future if they were to have another one? Let me know all your thoughts and comments down below about this. Check out all the other videos that I have on the Celebrity Towns YouTube channel with Rainbow High Dolls, LOL OMG Dolls, Bratz Dolls, Barbie Dolls, etc. Check out Celebrity Towns on all social media platforms, such as Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. Uh, especially on my Instagram page, I did save on my Instagram stories on my profile of the whole pop-up shop. It's R-H-X-S-H. Just check that out for all the videos and pictures that I took. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to go finish this water bottle and put this in a folder. So, bye.